Hello and welcome to RGT Red Gaming Tech, this is the kid and today uh, we're going to beginning, be beginning even, a uh, let's play of a classic Duke Nukem 3D, this is the Atomic Edition, uh, it's also had some like updates in the graphics, I don't know, uh, but it's slightly like HDified in the in the hard and stuff, uh, this is the one that was on sale on Steam a little while ago, uh, so let's get started, so it's, uh, when I, the first time I played Duke 3D was actually the N64 version, um, which is okay but it's not it's really toned down and a lot of the kind of graphic content's been cut out so uh, I have since played Duke 3D um, but on the N64 version it's all one episode whereas the PC is split into four episodes as you probably know uh, right so well I guess we'll just uh, jump straight in with uh, LA Nightmare uh, I'm going to be playing on Let's Rock uh, Duke is a very difficult game and if I play it on a harder difficulty I'm just going to be going over the same bits over and over again and it's going to be very boring for you to watch so, a uh, bit of a, well, everyone knows this level, so there's not much to say. Um, so, just a little background about, like, the rig I'm using. Uh, I don't have, like, the most amazing rig in the world. Um, let's see, well, well I guess you want to know the specs. Uh, so, the processor I'm using is an i7-290. Uh, it's actually one of the first generation i7s. Um, so, it runs at 2.66 gigahertz. I've never actually tried to overclock it or anything. Um, so yeah, it's a good processor, it's got four, log four physical cores, eight logical cores, or four physical, four logical, I don't know, I'm not quite sure how that works. Uh, so I built this back in like 2008, uh, it's a Foxconn Renaissance 1, mother oh fuck, I'm out of ammo. It's a Foxconn Renaissance 1 motherboard. Um, for the longest time I was using a, a 5870 from ATI. I uh, recently switched to a 660 Ti from NVIDIA. Um, they, it's not the greatest card ever, but it's pretty cost effective for the performance you get out of it. Um, so that's the card I'm running at the moment. That's just, just one of those, obviously. Um, you can have SLI with them, but yeah, who has the money? Uh, fuck. Never seen them do that before. Uh, okay. That door isn't touching the ground. Does that mean a bit like that? Uh, anyway. Oh, wrong button. So I'm still just remembering the controls. I'm not. I'm. I'm not. Well, I use a um, what is it? Like a Cyborg V5 keyboard. Uh, but most of the time for games, I use a Razer Nostromo, which is what I'm using at the moment. So I'm just kind of figuring out what I've mapped to what. Uh, so obviously that's jump. Now what did I map to action? I think it's E. Let's see. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm using a Razer Nostromo. Yeah, it's E. Using a Razer Nostromo for like the control. Like the uh, the mouse is a. So a uh, Mad Cat's Rat 5, which is a mouse I really like that you can adjust the weight of, and it's quite a high DPI. And if you notice, if I spin the mouse around like this, which is going to make you feel really sick, uh, it has kind of a, a low sensitivity switch on it. So if I'm kind of you know whizzing around like that, if I hold the low sensitivity down, you get a much higher DPI, which means you can have a much more kind of fine aim. Um, so what else is there internally in this thing? Uh, there's a whole mess of hard drives in there. Um, I have one that has the OS on it. Uh, then there's a 2 gig one which I use to, for, to install games on, uh, which is kind of where I stick all my Steam stuff. Why am I wasting my ammo for this gun? Um, and there's another one which has like my previous Windows XP installation on which I use for kind of compatibility and stuff like that. Oh, thank you. Um, what else is in there? Uh, some LG Blu-ray drive, I don't know. It's not. It's kind of a generic one, it's nothing fancy. Uh, and some card reader dealy that I bought when it was on sale in Maplins for a few quid. Now, if I, if I remember in the N64 version, you can save these people, the babes. I don't think you can in this version, I think you just got to put them out of their misery. Oh, she took that like a boss. <clears throat> See, what woman can take two bullets to the head? Three, even. Four. Can she go for five? Oh, yeah, she can take five. Can she take six? I'm just going to give her the boot, you know. Save my ammo. <laughs> Kick her in the ass. That's so inappropriate. Uh, hmm. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much my rig. Um, I don't know if you want to know what case I use. It's by Gene Tech or Jean Tech. Uh, and it's called a Luna. It's actually quite a small case. Um, but when I was building the computer, I didn't really consider, like, the advantages of using a larger case, so I just kind of bought one that looked cool. And it is, it is quite a nice case, it's got some LEDs on there and stuff. There is a secret here somewhere. 
Uh, if I can remember how to do it, where you can open this wall. Uh, there's a switch somewhere or something. Uh, this one? No. Or maybe you just jump up and get that, and then it opens. That's it. So get me to some rocket launcher action. Um, so yeah, there's, that's really all there is to say about my my rig. Uh, I just use a kind of a standard uh, 1080p Philips monitor and like a small TV for a secondary monitor, uh, which doesn't do 1080p, which is a shame. Um, so yeah, uh, what else can I say about it? Um, so as well, most games it'll max out. I mean, you, there are definitely superior cards to the, the one I'm using, but just for the amount I had to spend, this is about as high as I can go, and it is a good card. Um, it's it's one of the more high-end cards out there. I'd recommend if you have the money, definitely go for a 670 or a 680, as the overclocking potential is higher, or a fight a uh, what are we on now? Like a 7870, overclocked pretty well. Uh, well, so Crimson's told me. Overclocked pretty well, so that might be a card to look at if you've got the money. Um, right, so I'm just looking around my desk, seeing if there's any other parts of this computer you might want to know about. Uh, I'm using a Creative Fatality 1 headset, if that matters to you. Uh, well, anyway, aside from that, let's talk, let's talk Duke. Uh, so, obviously, this is kind of like the, the level everyone knows. I've n I have not seen them teleport, but they, they never used to do that, I swear. Maybe I am just have a terrible memory, but I can't remember them doing that. Maybe it's just the ones in red that do it? Um, as far as I remember, there's no point blowing that wall out. It's just a waste of a rocket. Oh, hello. Where are you? There you are. I guess that was the one that teleported away earlier. He's just been following me around. Uh, so, to progress, we go that way, but I don't want to go there just yet, because there are some secrets to be had. So there's one behind this fine specimen here. Oh, yeah, check. Oh. oh yeah, there's no headshots in this game either, which is kind of annoying. Uh, not that I'm that great of a shot anyway. Uh, so this is like the level I know the best because it's the one I've played the most often on various different platforms. If I remember right, there's a secret up here like one of these windows you can kind of clip through. Well, you can hear the enemies in there. There we go. So get me some more rockets. Now, I have this weird memory in the N in the N64 version. Oh, thank you. Oh, I already got steroids. Um, I swear in the N64 version there was a secret level you could get to from this level, but I can't find any information on it, so I'm probably just remembering wrong. Oh, can, can we jump that high? Oh, okay. No, I'm not going to waste a jetpack. I'll just go around. Um, but yeah, I have this vague memory of there being like a grocery store secret level, or there being a grocery store you can get to on this level, but I can't find reference to it anywhere, so maybe I just dreamt or imagined that, I don't know. Um, yeah, the N64 version, which is the one I played as a kid when I was probably too young, was, uh, they had a lot of the kind of adult content removed, so like you didn't, you couldn't kill the, the babes, you had, to, you could rescue them. Uh, ball still. Clever. Um, yeah, and uh, like the entire like a lot. Oh fuck! That wasted so much of my health. Um, oh, and that was so pointless because I only just that just does that. Oh fuck. Um, anyway, yeah. Um, the second level of the game uh, in this it's called Red Light District. In the N64 version, it's been changed, and the second level becomes. Oh, it's I can't remember what it's called. Um, but instead of having like an adult like a pawn shop. Um, it's replaced with like a, a bookstore or something. Um, I think the uh, cheap burger was a secret level, but there's like a burger joint that's been put in that I don't think is in. The I am dying here. Um, no, okay, I'm just. Oh, how do I do this? I think it's these keys to change. Yeah. So I'm not doing too great at the moment, but I'm rambling on. So the, yeah, this, the second level and many other levels later were, were censored and were kind of toned down for uh, obviously Nintendo's policies on what games can contain. Now this wall here and this wall here, these are the ones that ring a bell that like, they had some way to get to a secret level in some version of the game, or you could open a teleporter there. But for the life of me, I can't remember. So, well, that's level one. Let's get the old boot out. There is a key to just like kick randomly, but I forget what it is. Um, it's a 
Let's see how we... You always get this thing where it says like 3D Realms time 53 seconds. I'm sure you could do it that fast, but you would have to pick up nothing and you'd kind of be... You wouldn't be doing yourself any favours. So, oh yeah, Red Light District. I forget what it was called on the N64, but it wasn't Red Light District. It crouches that. Yeah. These things always kick my ass. So I recently played the uh, the, the Life's of Beach like expansion thing that came with this. Um, I'll, I may do a let's play on that at some point. Um, it's actually a lot of fun. It's quite it's bizarre. Like it's, <laughs> they've replaced a lot of the enemies with kind of like beach themed enemies. Um, but yeah, it was quite fun. It's quite short. It's only like seven levels long. But um, yeah, I quite enjoyed it. There's actually three expansions that came with this uh, on Steam. Uh, like the ones like LA Meltdown. No, LA Meltdown is what we're playing now. Atomic Winter is one of them. Um, I don't know. I have a terrible memory. Uh, there's another one. But I forget what it is. I took so much damage there. I am in trouble. Uh, I'm not doing well. Okay. I have to get get the A game on. Uh, so yeah, in the N64 version, this isn't like an adult bookstore. It's just, if I remember right, it's a regular bookstore. Oh, it's those fucking pigs that do me in every time. Uh, yeah, so like in the N64 version, these don't have like this going on. Um, I'm not sure what's actually on them in the N64 version, but it's it's not that. Damn it! And also, in the N64 version, the steroids aren't called steroids. Um, I forget what they're called. But most of my memory... I see you in the mirror there. Can we sneak in? Oh, fuck! Um, yeah, so most of my memories of this game are from the N64 version, which is actually quite different to this. Um, yeah, you can drink the water from the toilet if you want to get a bit of health back. The annoying thing is it's so fucking slow that, you know, yeah, it's a trade-off between do I stand here and keep drinking till I have full health? Uh, right, I'll, go for, I'll go for 60. <sighs> right, 60 that'll do. Okay. I'm just gonna, there is a quick save button, but uh, I'm just gonna slap down a save there. Because knowing me, I'm gonna get annihilated pretty soon. So I've never really understood what the point of these security things are. I mean, it's cool and everything, but I, I guess sometimes they drop hints at like secret areas. So in the N64 version, that if when once the camera pans back, if I remember right, on this wall here that's on the middle of the screen now, there's a burger shop there, like a burger bar, which isn't in this version. Um, but I think that became a secret level in this, or was a secret level in this version. Uh, but yeah. This, I haven't played Duke 64 since I was pretty young with my brother before he became Canadian. Um, I still have it somewhere, I think. But how is that a secret? That's the most obvious secret ever. I guess maybe it's meant to be darker. What do I get? Oh, fuck. Okay, that was alright. Oh, at least I got some more health. Um, I've lost my train of thought now. But yeah, I haven't played it in a long time. But most of my memories of that game come from that version. Um, I didn't really play Duke 3D until I was probably in my late teens when I kind of it was when I started buying more PC games and kind of moving away from consoles. Um, was when I kind of came back and played it. Uh, see a lot of these a lot of these kind of early levels I feel like I have a really good memory of, but then when I actually go to play them, I like my memory is really off. Um, Save often, good advice for uh, life in general. Now, if I remember right, what I want to do now I've got this key card is come over here and demolish this building. Now, I swear, in some versions of this game, when you walk over this end of kind of the street, there's an earthquake, and Duke says, I ain't afraid of no quake. 3D realms down the bleh, bleh, demolition code. Yeah, I'm sure he used to say I ain't afraid of no quake, which is obviously a quake reference. Obviously, this game and quake came out around the same time, so it, it had a lot of kind of references like that to other games. I mean, Duke Nukem, even, even like the platforming days, with you know, and most PC games back then were kind of 
full of references to other franchises and stuff and would make digs at each other. It's not something you see so much anymore. I mean, games still kind of reference each other, but it's not kind of done all the time anymore, which is kind of a shame. If I remember right, there's a way to get down there. Yeah, there is. Okay. For once I remember something right. This is going to hurt. Uh, okay, don't want to stay in that too long. Uh, sorry, love. Oh, these things fucking ruined my life. See, that, I, this is a fun fact, actually. I may be one of the few people that I know that actually genuinely liked uh, Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> um, I actually bought the, like, the Balls of Steel edition, which came with some cool stuff like deck of cards and poker chips and a statue of Duke and art book and everything, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that game. Um, I think I, it's because I went into it knowing that it's meant to be stupid and it's meant to be lame and dumb and... Okay. I could have sworn you could do something here, but apparently not. Let's just try uh, putting a bullet in it, see if that does anything. In some games that's effective, but apparently not in this one. Uh, yeah, I really liked Duke Nukem Forever. It was completely off... I, I must be able to go that way. I can't get back out this way. Um, it was completely ridiculous, but that's what Duke's meant to be. He's meant to be an arse. He's meant to be kind of unlikable. And Okay, you know, it could have been better, but, you know, it wasn't as bad as everyone kind of made it out to be. There's a door here somewhere, I know it. I'm looking like a right idiot right now. Um, I could try a rocket, I guess. Oh, well, actually, it gave me some pipe bombs, so maybe there's a... Maybe that's a sign. No. I can hear water running now. I've obviously done something. I'm missing something obvious, and I know it. Uh, nope. I definitely can't go back out that way. Don't you hate it when you're watching a Let's Play and it's so obvious to you what the person's going to be doing and they're just not doing it? Let's get out there. Let's just kick some stuff. Oh, I've done this level so many times, why can't I remember what I'm going to do? This kind of noise, noise coming from here this suggests to me that I'm going to do something. I love how his foot somehow leaves, sometimes leaves bullet holes. See, this looks like it should be something. Uh, no. Nope. Let's just save. And get a bit more aggressive. Nope. Did that hurt? Nope. Why is that... Why is that noise? I'm sure that's, that's where I'm going to be. I can't believe I'm stumped already. <sighs> oh wait! Oh, now I feel like an idiot. It's giving me a jetpack, isn't it? I'm gonna jetpack my way out of here. Okay. Right, let's load that save. Get the gun out. Okay, right. To freedom! Uh, now which key on this did I map to enter? <laughs> um, is it that one? Or is it this one? No, that's quick save. I'll just use the regular enter. Uh, turn that off. Okay, right. Back to it. Um, so we've got our yellow key card now. So we're heading into the bar. The bar. I was hoping that would kill him. Now he's going to be a bother. There we go. Go there later. I remember right, you can actually like make, <laughs> play with the balls. Um, you can shoot them and they'll, I think you can kind of kick them around or like if you shoot them they'll explode or something. Let's just have a little, little sip from the urinal here. Okay. I think this is where that noise is coming from. Yes, it was. Uh, this air vent is pointless because it only just goes around in a loop. Uh, Get some. Just grab the ammo. Who wants some? Side step to victory. Move it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, that went better than expected. Uh, have a few bevs. Shake Hello. it, baby. You want to dance? Give me the slider treatment. Isn't that OJ Simpson's car from that whole incident back then? It certainly looks like it. Uh, anyway, off topic completely. Oh, sometimes if you mess with cash registers you can get secrets. Not this time, apparently. Now, if I remember right, that wall's going to explode and dump some pig cops on me. Yeah. Oh, take damage. It's not good. Okay, we're hurting a bit. I'm done. I'm just going. Ah, oh, fuck! I was going to get done in. Oh, hello, ladies. I need it there. Let's be, let's be lewd and crude. Uh, uh, right. Back to business. I believe I have to go through here. I really should use that more pistol ammo. Oh, atomic health. That's nice. Oh no you don't, you son of a... Oh no I didn't mean to go down there, oh this is good, this is not good. Oh, didn't take any damage, that's alright. Uh... Oh no! I... <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Uh, I'm gonna save. Oh you... <laughs> Finesse is not my middle name. Uh, took a lot more damage than I would have liked to there. So many shotguns from every direction. Oh, he's up there. Excuse me, love. Uh, uh, there we go. Got some used armor. It's always nice. God, I wish this game had headshots. Rocket! Oh uh, yeah, I do. Uh, she's a pistol. Not an idea, but... Oh, I'm gonna regret getting the pistol out. I can pick up Zero P. That looks like a secret, and it is. Oh, I've already got one. Why did I not use that yet? Uh, okay, I think we are reaching the end of the level. There is a secret level, I think, you can get to from here, but fucked if I know how you get to it. Yeah, end of the level. Oh, oh, it's this one, isn't it? I think we... Got... If you say so. So that was level 2, that was a solid 15 minutes there, as opposed to the 3D Realms time of 3 minutes 21, which I, I'm not sure is possible unless you just completely rushed it. Uh, so right, I'm going to call it a video there, so this will be part one, so uh, join me back for part two, and uh, we'll continue on. Uh, I believe the next level is Death Row, but yeah, I can't remember. But uh, yeah, I'll see you then. I'm the kid, and this is Red Gaming Tech. See you next time.